Hey you, no one is born confident. You earn it. What does confidence mean for you? Well, I would say not fearing to be wrong. Here we are again. Welcome back to our channel. My name is Carolina Bastos. My name is Ariel Mercury and we are both professional ballet dancers. Today's topic is confidence. A few days ago we just came back in the ballet studios after the lockdown plus some winter holidays and we are back again in another lockdown because some of the ballet dancers of our company were tested positive with COVID-19. That's why we have to stay at home for at least one week. We've been doing like this back and forth the whole last year and unfortunately we started this year in the same way. Some of the ballet dancers struggle to be confident in the ballet studio and on stage. Plus the situation that we are all going through now, the lack of confidence is even more present in our lives. That's why we decided to talk about this topic today. Stay with us until the end of this video because we will share with you 5 tips how to boost your confidence in the ballet studio but not only also in your everyday life that we learned during our career through different experiences. So let's start! But first, don't forget to smash the like button, it would help us a lot to make grow this channel. Thank you for doing that. <laughs> well, yeah, as you can see, Sky just woke up and it's a little bit hard, but we will make it. So the first tip is look good and feel great. Feeling good about your appearance is extremely important. You must feel comfortable with what you see in the mirror. That's why every morning I carefully choose my leotard, I make a nice hair, I do a little bit of makeup and I put on some perfume. That makes me feel more attractive, more secure and happy with myself. This might not seem an important tip, but trust me, it really helps to start building up your confidence. It's true guys, but not just for girls, also for boys, because maybe some people might, might think that just the girls need to get beautiful, like with makeup <laughs> and choose a leotard, but also the boys can do that, to choose the right tights, the right t-shirt, put the perfume on and start the day more motivated. It might seem in the beginning superficial, but it's not, it, it is important. The second tip is focus on yourself. Why spending all this energy focusing on what the others are doing? Or why finding yourself in a competition every day with someone else? What about using all this energy in your work, in yourself? That's right guys. Once you start the ballet class, you have to forget about the people around you. You have to concentrate in what you are doing at the moment. Because there is always going to be someone who is going to turn more than you, jump more than you, or be more flexible than you. But by focusing in yourself, you will have more room to improve and also build up your confidence. As Mikhail Baryshnikov said, I do not try to dance better than anyone else. I only try to dance better than myself. The tip number three is believe and love yourself. If you don't believe in yourself, who will? No one. Because you must be the fan, the supporter and the believer number one of yourself. More you believe in yourself, more the others will believe in you. Sometimes belief is determined by different situations, but don't let the others run your life. If you believe in yourself, your soul and your body, you make all your dreams come true. Once you're in the studio or on stage, you must tell yourself that you love what you're doing and that you love yourself. Don't let any mistakes or bad thoughts overtake you. By loving and believing in what you do, it will help you build up your confidence. The tip number four is eliminate negativity and bring on positivity. The brain is not designed to make you happy. That's your job. That's what Tony Robbins said. He is one of the best and my favorite life coach in the world. And what is he saying is very clear and true. That's why we must change our way of thinking and switch all these negative thoughts into positivity 
and success. It is not an easy process, you cannot change it in one second, one minute. It will take time. How and why are two questions that are very important to make to yourself. That's what we do every time. For example, if we don't feel uh, comfortable with something, we ask ourselves, why is this happening? And how can I change to improve that? Let's make an example right now. Let's say purest because that's a favorite uh, step for a lot of ballet dancers. Some days the body it doesn't feel good. Whatever happens uh, and you don't manage to do four or five purest, guys, that's not the end of the world. You should stop breathe and ask yourself why is this happening and how can i change that the day instead of going every time for that amount of pirouette and it never works start by doing one pirouette two pirouettes three until you get four or five and by asking these questions to yourself naturally it will take away the negative thoughts that you have in your brain we are not making this up this is something that we practice all the time in the ballet class but not only also during our life if we have a problem if we feel a bit uh, nervous we ask ourselves why I'm feeling nervous now how can I feel better how can I feel happier and also another important thing how to eliminate all these negative thoughts that you have in your brain is to remove all the negative words from your vocabulary that you use during the day for example I can't I hate impossible just switch them and say I can, I love and it's possible and you will see a big change in a small amount of time. This is a great tip that I recommend to you which will help you a lot to build up your confidence. And the final tip is don't accept failure. Failure is a big word that creates us fear but failure is the way to success. Why I'm saying that is not only because of what famous or important people have said, but it's because of our own experiences during our career. Sometimes we're not respected or we didn't get the shows and the roles that we deserve, auditions that were not accepted and etc. But we never gave up. For some people these might be failures, but they are not. These are challenges that will make you stronger. So never accept failures in life. In Albanian we have a saying which says, we build the wall stone by stone. That's why guys, if you fall 100 times, you must stand up 101 times to continue following your dream. It is really important to not give up very easy and to continue to do what you love. To build up a strong confidence you must walk step by step. It is not a process that will change from one day to another. It is a process that will take time but you can do it. So guys these are the five tips how to boost your confidence in the ballet studio but not only, also in life, that we both learned during our career and right now we are sharing them with you. I hope you really enjoyed this video and got good content out of it. If you did so, let us know by commenting below. And also, I have another question for you. What is the tip that you follow to boost up your confidence in your life? Let us know by commenting below because we are very curious. We also have a lot to learn from you guys. Thank you very much for watching guys, we really appreciate it. Don't forget to smash the like, subscribe and share with your friends. We really enjoyed making this video for you. And if you're curious to see more, we also have ballet videos and vlogs about our lifestyle. Just go on our YouTube channel and check them out. See you in the next video. Ciao guys.